Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Pico Assist by Victoria Can and Elizabeth Can. It was a rainy day, too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. What color do you want? Pink, I said, pink, pink, pink. Mommy put in some pink. More, I cried, more, more, more. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes while Mommy and I frosted them. They were so yummy. They were pink delicious. I offered one to Peter, my little brother, but he is very picky and didn't want to eat his, so I ate it. Please, Mommy, can I have just one more? I begged when I woke up from my nap. You get what you get and you don't get upset, she said, but I got very upset. After a dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. Just one more pink cupcake and I'll go to sleep, I promised. Daddy waved a tired finger at me. You have had enough. The next morning when I woke up, I was pink. My face was pink, my hands were pink, and my belly was the color of a sunset. Daddy thought I would play with markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink did not come off. My hair was the color of raspberry server. I cried because it was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and twirled in front of the mirror while Mommy sped dialed pediatrician. pediatrician. I'm Pinkerbell. Look at me. I'm Pinkerbell, I sang. Bobby grabbed her purse. Just one more pink cupcakes, please. Just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Bobby took me right to the doctor's office. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, you have a very rare and acute pet case of pinkitis. 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 I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinkerella. Then Dr. Wink said, for the next week, no more pink cupcakes, pink bubblegum, or pink cotton candy. Boo. To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of great food. Yuck. On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink peonies. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off, I'm not a f flower, I scolded the bees. Soon I was surrounded by bees, butterflies, birds. Mommy, I cried, please take me home. When we left the play playground, I asked, Mommy, if I can eat another pink cupcake when we got home. Don't you remember what the doctor told you? She said, no more pe no, mo no more cupcakes. Peter tugged at my pink tails. I wish I were pink like you, he said. He was green with that glue. That night, I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy dark green vegetables. After everyone went to sleep, I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed onto a chair, and reached on my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator where Mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I took just one more pink cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake wrapper clean. When I woke up in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror and peered at my right reflection. I have a deep, deeper pink than I had ever seen. In fact, I was no longer pink. I was red. Oh no, not red, I screamed. I didn't want to be red. I should not have eaten that pink cupcake last night. I wanted to be myself again. I knew what I had to do. I opened the fridge, held my nose, and squeezed a bottle of icky green relish onto my tongue. I ate pickles and spinach, olives, and okra. I choked down artichokes, gagged on grapes, and burped up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tickled, my ears tingled, and my feet twitched. I was no longer red. I was no longer pink. I was me, and I was beautiful. So what happened to the rest of the cupcakes, Pinkalices? Daddy asked. Just then, Peter ran in and yelled, Peekaboo! I hope you enjoy the book, Pink Colossus.